Hello everyone and welcome to a new popper video. I'm playing today a red green ramp which doesn't play land destruction anymore. The, the format became faster and no need to kill the opponent lands. Uh, we are playing a lot of new cards. Most of them are from MH3 such as Rising Chrysalis, Addressor Proposer, Malevolent Rumble. All of these very good in combination with a Mana Accelerant that can be either Utopia Sprawl, Arbor Elf, or Wild Growth. We have uh, a lot of uh, expensive cards in the top of the curve that can also be cycled, such as Generosent and Oleophant. We also don't have any land, so we have to mulligan this starting hand. The keep, bottom of land, easy. I've always been a hater of the land destruction cards. Similarly to why I hate Boomerang in Mono Blue, which is the card is advantage. All the good in certain scenarios. Not a fan. Land, go. No one drop, but uh, enough mana accelerant. This deck doesn't play too many ways of getting uh, red sources. Opponent starts strong, very strong, getting probably a forest. Yes, so yeah, that is the nuts. That is the format nuts. The the, the, the best play you can do. This brawl is a way to get a red source. Very good draw. On level and rumble. Let's rumble. I can go avenging hunter next turn. I think it's all right to get it over the other options. Eco Wellspring. They can settle the um, Eco Wellspring plus Deadly Dispute. It's okay. I can go Avenging Hunter though. Sure. Obviously, I could die any time. This is a combo deck my opponent's playing. And I didn't draw any removal spell. But my force in this game will be the clock. So, turn 3 Avenging Hunter is my strength. Will it be good enough? Who knows? Iltros, hello. Welcome to the stream. Playing some pop, hoping my opponent doesn't draw their glee combo. And they just dirtle around and die to my 7 6 next turn. Trample. Yeah, they basically just spend their turn cycling twice. Not, not very good. Not very impressive. Oh, right, I think Grizzlies. There it is. It's okay. I have trample, so those tokens don't fear me. I don't. I, I, I don't fear those tokens. Forge. Auto yield. Okay. Uh, I don't have mana to cast boarding party, unfortunately, but it's okay. Just do a bunch of random cards. Like, like pure proposer, probably. Yeah, my shields are down. I don't need to pretend that I have something.
And you also don't need to pretend. You don't have it. Let's see what happens now. Okay. Ancestral Recall. Always a good draw. Let's go about my land. This does not make sense at all, my friend. You should blow up your own land. Very questionable play. It is what it is. But you want me to kill my mountain if you really want to kill land. Like, yeah, actually, killing my mountain wasn't that bad. I didn't have another red source in my deck. I guess lesson learned. I shouldn't have played Mountain. I didn't get punished somehow. All right, boarding party F six. That's what you got to do with this deck. So I won't play anymore. All right, now what's this do? All creatures able to block do so. Channel scarves. Okay, so I guess this is for what elves. Uh, a proposer seems bad. What else seems bad? Weather the storm seems very bad. I didn't even know I had it in the main deck. Uh, maybe some boarding party seems bad. Oh yeah, Utopia Sprawl on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's not that bad of a play. Yeah. I guess. It's not that bad. I actually want to cut all the boarding parties. I'll bring in Nispar Hydra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I phased out. Hmm. I'll keep. Bring one Arbor Elf. Turn two breath weapon. No, <laughs> yeah, the breath weapon is here for the glee combo, but it may not be very good. Hey, again with the nuts. Okay. The glamour. It's not so good, but I think it's, I mean, better than, better than nothing. Man, I really wish I never played, I never had to play those breath weapons. Do I just not sideboard them in? I guess they're not even they're not even like that good. They just got unlucky to draw them together with the um, together with the Arbor Elves. Yeah, so last turn I could have held mana to play around this play. But it could have also just gone like land chrysalis, so I think the storm rain made sense.
Chrysalis. Attack for two. We go to 16. Okay. Brood scale. Deadly dispute. Swamp. Sadistic Glee, so they have the infinite combo going on. Adopt. I would play Altizor. In the old fashioned way, tapping seven mana sources. Oh, because maybe that's uncommon. Yeah, no, it was common in Commander Legends one. All right, they passed. So my ult is or. See what happens. Breath weapon. All right, all right, I'll concede. Game three, I'll be on the play. I think I want to have, uh, I want to cut the breath weapons. Bring it over proposers. It's too weak. Maybe we should just have boarding parties and Yeah, just only side in very lightly. I can go land Wagro. Next turn, I can go two mana cycle. I really need to get a red land, so I can't think. I can't the glamour. I can't the glamour. Yeah. Less I drew a land, I drew a forest. Which case, in which case, I can go Wagro here, cycle for red land, and then the glamour. That was like a respond to consign. Sorry, um, the card I play all the time, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it's better that I did that. But like, let's just go like top two, play something. You know, so like not that likely to do it three times. I think I need to apply some pressure. I don't want to just cast into fire your land. Floron. Hello, 25 months. 
We are a long time. Thank you, thank you. Okay. See what I draw? Like I kind of want to just... I mean, let's see what I draw. It's a terrible draw. I just want to play Chrysalis instead of Storm Rain. Like infinite mana, but I think I just need to. Yeah, I'm just going to land. We're sucking four things, attack for six. Maybe right, maybe wrong. Who knows? But it's my plan. Attack for six, pass. I'll uh, stone rain you next turn. Is this snuff out? You can't snuff out. What you doing? Yeah, they want to snuff out somehow. Huh? No. They don't have a swamp for snuff out. Treasure token is in. They're gonna swamp for his enough out. Hope you. I hope you didn't have two though. Very very awkward man on my side. If this was a Utopia sprawl, the game would have been much different. Let's let's attack first. Now the next question is: Do I want to stone rain you now, or do I want to hold up? I think I'll still rain you now. Oh, Jonas here, Pronchison. We're paupering today. Yeah, like I had on board a lot and a life total, of course. That uh, it's okay to do this then. I think I'll go here because I've done a green. A couple of turns to kill them because the trap deals five damage. This becomes a seven six trample next turn. Let's say a busy forest, so they can go for the combo. Or they can go dispute. Okay. They can't go for the combo anymore. Avenging Hunter wins the game. Boarding Party also probably wins the game. Mm -mm -mm. 
Is that Clark's interaction? Well, <laughs> two interaction this game. I mean, it's definitely a boring deck. Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm so excited to play this deck. Especially when your opponent plays low. It feels like you have to wait so long for your turn and it's just one creature. But it's like a, a fast deck. So that's definitely an appeal for Power Burn. A lot of people don't really want to get into the 50 minutes round that is Pauper. So that, that that's the appeal to the deck. Like, if the opponent's low, it's boring, because you don't have that many action. But if the opponent is like, you know, playing quick magic, I, I, I love quick magic. But this deck gives you that. Like, I wouldn't play this deck in a tournament, but it's definitely, uh, I mean, I play every deck, so I definitely think that this deck is a deck that you can face in a tournament, and knowing it is, is a good idea. It's simple. And it's simple, so... Very simple magic. You just play creatures, r ramp. Okay, Mulligan this hand. This hand is no buena. This hand, on the other hand, is muy bonita. But one of my seven drops, and let's go. Forest Fingernails. Happy to see that. Do I go Sprawl? No, I think I should go Wild Growth. I don't, if I go Sprawl, I only get rewarded if I draw exactly a land, which was not the case. Sorry, which cannot be the case. I would have drawn it. I didn't believe. I did not believe strong enough. Go Sprawl, name Red, and then go Drazi Reposer. It's okay though. I think I'm happy with uh, the way the game went. I don't have to play Breath Weapon now. I can wait. I play all their things and I'm gonna just blow them away. It's a lot of things. They will all be blown away. Right, what Wanna cycle this end? No. Don't think so. I don't think I should. Timber Watch, that's good. Timber Watch is very good. Timber Watch can definitely be a, a way my opponent can go back into the game. It's kinda of like a must kill. Four mana, what's this? Nixburn Hydra is a 3-4 that can become a 5-6. Altazor. That's Chrysalis. And, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, here I can't really go through, so I have to pass. This Nyxborn can become a. Ooh, now it's big. Now it's very big. Give it plus six. Yeah, now. How can I win? Alright, so they can give it plus six. That means. That becomes a ten toughness card. I think I have to kill it. I think I have to kill it. If I don't kill it, I I, I don't win. Nine ten. I 
Yeah. It's unfortunate, but I have to use all of my resources to kill that. Yeah, Ranger Pre Ranger is is in draw here. I don't even know what's my out, really. Funny because like I went like a six for two with the fire cannonade. Maybe should have waited. Nah, I would have gone. Nick's Burma Hydra would have lost. This is fine. I played to my best. Oh, I miscounted. I thought this would die. All right, it not dying is definitely an improvement for my cause. But I can give this plus three only. So it comes at 4-4. Four, four. Okay, I'll have some beaters, so maybe, maybe. Okay, they draw land. So they can't do much here. And do much here. Uh, I can give the thing plus six at the moment. Stacking with all, <laughs> there's not much to think about. Sure. That's good, that means I can't cast generous end. is dead on board if they don't drop Reacher. Let's see if they do. This from Hydra. Okay. It's a creature. It's a good creature. To draw something good. If I draw land... Oh, wow. Hello. That is strong. That's a very strong card to draw here. If I attack with all, what happens? They can go block, block and pump, block and pump, chump block. So I'm trading these two for this. Honestly, queer, killing queer ranger is like a very big deal. I think I'm okay with that trade. Must be said that I... So, the Avenging Hunter gives them a clock with the trap. And it's very hard for me to lose the... The, the initiative if I don't attack. So am I okay with trading Ant and Reproposer for Queer Ranger with this card in my hand? I can just not do anything and kill them into attacks. Alternatively, I do this trade. They can't attack me because they can't. Yeah, no, I think it's good because like they can't really attack me because they can't untap with Queer Ranger. Queer Ranger has to block, so Queer Ranger is dead. Yeah. Yes, yeah, my opponent's playing fast, so it's fun. When a opponent plays fast, magic is always fun. More, more fun than when they don't. Actually, I'm the one that's playing slow. Although, I, I arrived late to the table. So.
I don't know your mocha. I don't like either of them. I'm sorry. Good luck. Five. Play Avenging Hunter. Yeah, Mountain. Go. Did I make a mistake? Did I play a... Oh, never mind. I couldn't kill my thing. It was just a six. All right, then. Easy. Oof. I don't know why I thought so long then. It was a very easy play. Okay, so Sheenan of Life's Roar. Let's try. Card, I think it's once again a Dreads Rare Proposer. Just a, just a, I don't know, it's kind of seems like a big filler. Very big filler to me. He's like, like a guy that's pretty marginal. It doesn't seem strong at all to me. Meet them all again. Hmm. So this one doesn't have any cyber card. Oh, I'm not tail. Unless it top eights and challenges. I did play Armor Time at some point recently. Because they top eight a challenge. Uh, do I? Mulligan does end. I put a cap seven. I'll Mulligan. Jasper, Land Arbor Elf, drew my red source. I still don't have a. Uh... Oh wow! Just passing. All right, so I'm gonna go forest. Wild grow. My level of rumble. Wrong. I'll get an Avenging Hunter. I think it's the best. Pass. I want a cycle generous end. Hmm. I played Affinity earlier. You might have missed it. I played three Affinity Leagues and they all went very well. If you haven't checked them, you check it on, on the YouTube channel. Two leagues uh, were published. One was recorded before, so we'll put it published soon. Wow. Mesmeric Fiend. It's unexpected. Probably taking Avenging Hunter. Yep, that's what you do. And now I don't have red mana, so I have to cycle the red mana. Then I can untap it with Arbor Elf. Never mind, I just drew and took a sprawl now. Did not need it at all. Deck mode now. He's got a large card and, you know, wish he didn't cycle, but maybe I could have waited. No, no, no. It's better not. Okay. If I don't kill this thing in my turn, I'll concede. This one, I don't care. Life gain is fake. All right, I'll concede. Let's 
awesome it. Let's go. This is a turn three. I was thinking it was turn two, but it's not. And the more colors you add to this deck, the worse it gets. It's already, it's mine is already pretty unreliable. So yeah, I mean, the more colors you add, the better options you have. But you also get. Let's just go Utopia Sprawl, say red. Then I can cast Cast into Fire in my opponent's turn if I want to. We'll see if I want to. Do 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 do. Mm hmm. Birch lore. Oh, it's nice if they go. Mesmeric Fiend. They actually do. Wow. Yeah. So the way this card works is, uh, if I kill it now, I think it's a. If I kill it now, the card gets exiled forever. So I can't kill it now. Whereas if it was like a, you know, another card, I could have uh, killed it and it would have worked. Ray, I think the best card here to play is Avenging Hunter. Yeah, deep covering, but could have gone for red instead of forest, but yeah, it doesn't matter that much. Priest of Titania, that's strong. But I I I I have to apply a quick pressure here. So untap. Forge on the Avenging Hunter, that's for sure. And draw. Then let's see what can I do. Can I go right thing chrysalis? Can I go right thing chrysalis and oliphant? Quattro, due, tre, quattro, cinque. I can't. I cannot. All right, then let me play oliphant. First thing first, I tap for seven. And then I'll play Olio Fund. And then let's see how big my opponent goes off here with their Titania mana. Hope not too big. <laughs> Set the bomb. Do it. Three, one, two, on top. Should go say Olio Fund. Pass. This attacks for 10. No, sorry, 8. <laughs> it doesn't give Trample to Arbor Elf. Because Avenging Hunter already has it. Alright, well, that's a good draw opponent. What do you draw? Io caro, quattro, ho trovato. Porca puttana. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. Gonna go black mana there. Green mana. Well, yeah, I have so much mana. We are rangers, so good. If I don't kill them this turn, the tight the well wisher plus queer ranger will turn the corner. We'll gain like twenty life. Unreachable amount of life. I didn't say life gains fake, but not when I'm in a race. Wait, I'm still dealing a lot of damage next turn because this is five and this is a lot. So, you know, they don't have anger, they don't have haste. Try to behemoth.
eighth green. Is they on top with Well Wisher? Do you think they're on top with Well Wisher in this game? It seems hard. Like they need to do stuff to survive. Like I'm attacking for 15 trample plus forge. So that's 20. Taking for 20 damage here. Eh, quit the fork, that generous ent. They needed it. They needed a generous ent. Dio caro, ma come cazzo hai girato? Wedding way into... They didn't have it. They... they... Alright, it's fine. Let's just draw... Yeah, I mean, I can't do much. Just trap. <laughs> or, I can... Now, if I... Huh, look at this. Look at this chat. Alright, let me count quickly. So if I shoot you 5, you go to 11. I can attack for... 7 più 8... 15. So you just block with Ant. I can do Arena... On Mesmeric Fiend. I think that's not, not a bad idea. And then, like... Because if I do Arena Well Wisher, you just tap it. And then you just can't, can't attack. But this one has to attack. Yeah, you don't tap with Well Wisher, you get a lot of life, but you still don't have much going on after after I kill the Well Wisher with Cast into Fire. So I'm gonna go Arena on the Mesmeric Fiend that has Cast into Fire under it, and then draw for turn. Nevada Terra. Okay, combat. I could attack with Avenging Hunter. We can tap it for mana. Oh, God, so I punted. You're right, you're right. I could have tapped it for mana. I punted. Eh, hey, cazzi miei. Big punt. It's okay. I didn't see that. I did not see that. Mannaggia me. Mannaggia me, I did not see that. I missed five, lam five life. I missed five life, which obviously matter. I mean, maybe not that much, because they just have well wisher anyway. I just realized that my mole will find now get eat, gets eaten by the by the end. It's mistakes one after another. Hola, how was the Canarias? Muy buena. Yeah, I put in blocks like they use, they like they should. Um, can it pump itself? Another? No, yeah, I shouldn't have attacked that with it. Nah, I don't think I've not. Five life matters that much. Because they have like infinite life here. They gain 16 this turn and 60 and 8 more in my turn. So they gain like 24 in a cycle of a turn. But yeah, I mean I think the attack of the elephant was actually the bigger mistake there. It's <laughs> 2020, yeah. Yeah, Queer Ranger is so busted. So, 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 so busted. Yep. GG. I lose. Close matches so far. Close matches. All, um... Round number three. It's weird for me to mulligan hands with three lands and four spells, but I think this is not a keep. This, on the other hand, is a very strong hand. Right. I choose red to begin. Thurman to say green. Ooh, the opponent may have, um... Cons uh, the... I hope they don't. The land destruction. Alright, I target their land. This, this thing happens every game on Magic Online. How does it work? Oh, I didn't change the notification. Oh, I'm sorry, obviously. Yeah, that's true. That's true, you're right. Should have should should have changed it. Hello, hello. Alright, let's go eat up a sprawl, name red, and pass because I have nothing. I should change the the, the thing there because this is round two. Round 
What's the score? One one. Okay. It's run three. I mean. All right, my opponent just played this thing and passed. Yeah, unfortunately for me, I I don't have anything, so I've gotta play this and pass and die. Oh, that got close. Yeah, streaming on a Saturday because next week I'm going to Vegas, so need to need to put out a bunch of videos. Need to record. Yeah, I know, the Twitch push message has Friday Merc died. My bad. It's not Friday. It's not Merc died. I fooled you. Yeah, I wasn't me. I wasn't, I, it wasn't meant to. Let's say it wasn't meant to. I didn't want to fool anyone. I want to fool my opponent here, though, who didn't leave up green mana. What are you doing? Except doing a million cleansing wildfire. Clickbait. Is it? I guess. Yeah. Wow. You don't even need to adapt. You just put... Hmm. Not bad. Uh, all right. That's that's not a free unit. This brawl. I guess I go Altizor here. How much money do I have? Yeah. Go Altizor. Cascade. Let's get this bad card. What do you think of Dredge and Current Popper meta? It's a deck. If you own it and know how to play it, go for it. Why not? Eviscerator Insight. Deadly Dispute, bye-bye. Opponents is having fun drawing a lot of cards. They have seven cards in hand on turn five. They keep on drawing two. They keep on drawing two. All right. If they don't draw the thing, uh, their deck doesn't do very much. It's pretty devoid, the deck. I guess they can go... Uh, the... All right. The annoying part of this combo, I just gonna concede because I don't wanna leave through it, but it's the just that I don't know, like it's not over yet, but it's okay, I understand, I'll concede. Alright, bring some of the glamours. I think the breath weapon were bad, that's what I concluded. I think the other bad card is Reproposer. I think that is just bad in general. Like I don't I don't see when this card is good, honestly. Maybe against the blue deck, since it's uncountable. Or rather, you gain value, even if they counter it. Should have decided I'll weather the storm, that was a mistake. Punished by drawing it. Okay, this hand is good though. Did I lose to... No, I guess... I... Did I lose to this deck in round one? I guess I didn't, but... Do they have the combo? Every game, every time? Come on, it can't be that consistent. Like, you have what, like, eight, ten of these and four of this? I feel like I played five games and they did it all the time. It's okay, it's okay, let's not complain. 
like when you start this way, it's easy. Magic is much easier when you have a ramp and grow that draws a card on turn two every game in a three color deck. Yeah, guys, I made a misclick. I made a misclick. I know. I misclicked the title. It's okay. I hope you can forgive me. All right, the Weather of the Storm actually wasn't punishing. They discarded it. I mean, it was punishing because I could have had a 3 3 in hand, but it's fine. All right. Could be dead next turn easily. Or I can go for the Scry. No, I'm not going for the Scry. I need to pressure to kill quickly. They have the combo, they have the combo. I don't want to scry to find the glamour. Buongiorno, Pivo! Ooh, I can... Huh. I think I actually like to do Arena. Aspetta un attimino. If I do Arena, my opponent is forced to either... May not be a bad idea to do, to do Arena here. The problem of doing arena is that I don't have lethal the turn after. I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do trap. Buongiorno people. Yeah, so the plan of today uh today as I stream is uh Saturday. I'll be uh, finishing up this league that I started yesterday. Then I'll move on to the Ultimate Guard account and stream from there dual commander preparing for the Preparing for the uh, tournament. And they decided not to attack. Mm hmm. Preparing for the commander, uh, dual commander tournament that's gonna happen soon on um, the content creators. All right, draw a card here. Wait, my thing is trample. Hmm. Have it both. I think drawing the glamour would just punish my opponent for not comboing in their turn. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely punted there. Like, they should have combined their turn and pass. Instead, it just made me untap and I drew the glamour. GG. Yeah, this deck is definitely a rough time in this matchup, but I mean, I had a strong curve. It's okay, game three, my opponent won't have the combo, and they will just play a slow game, and I will uh, draw well and win. That's all we need to know. Killing one damage is not as easy. If my opponent rebuilds the combo and just actually uses it this time. Okay, so this game, if they had an infinite infinite and passed the turn, it would have been a much harder game because I actually needed to... I couldn't attack. I, I would I would have lost. I would have lost for sure. Alright. Rain on the opponent's misclick, mis mistakes, not misclick, mistakes. So we want. Is there's a world where is this card playable in this matchup? I, I don't think it is. Man, this would have been nice if I don't land. Said nobody ever. And this would have been nice if I had better spells. Isn't this too bad? I can't.
Surely put down a land, then probably cast into fire. I think I need a, some lands. Play my expensive spells. Yeah, casting to fire definitely seems worse than uh, like natural. Like there's a card that's very similar to the glamour. It's called natural observance or something like that. I think that is better. Because at least you can cast, you know. Like it's bit, it's like puts down an artifact. I think it doesn't put down an enchantment. It puts down an artifact. Deadly Dispute, aka Ancestral Recall. It's less Ancestral Recall when the card you sacrifice actually doesn't give you mana. The card doesn't give you card. Alright. Got nothing going on. Alright, my opponent killed my card. I will uh, shuffle your land and pass. Also shuffle that land. Unless you sacrifice it without giving me priority. Oh wow, that's a blowout. Yeah, see, this game, they had the Cleansing Bell Fire in end, but didn't have the land. And when you do that on turn 5, it's less, it's less good. Fortunately, we don't have colors this game. See, I draw. I'm dead on board. Yeah, basically. All right. It's okay. Hopefully, we got the bad matchups out and we played against the good one now. We want to play against the blue decks. This deck. I'm going to play against the blue decks. Not the Chandex of the world. Alright. It's a good end. I even have red mana. Buongiorno oh, Lorenzo. You ready for for tomorrow? I already booked the restaurant. And it goes for the Vault Scourge. Wow. That's a card of the past. One land. Well, a rumble. Hmm, I get Chrysalis. Chrysalis to just completely destroy all the old style deck. It's the power creep of Pauper. 
you know, people trying to do fair stuff to just get crushed by chrysalis and people doing unfair stuff obviously crushed us i think this deck is a very polarized matchup i mean not saying that i would have lost this game without chrysalis but definitely shuts down the door i think i'm playing green stompy could be that Yeah, this is a green stompy to me. Maybe I can cut Avenging Hunter. Instead of Warding Party, yeah. Too late. Too Keep. See what's up. Nettle Sentinel. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Breath Weapon is gonna clean. You're probably led on YouTube is for all, but also I don't mind if my opponent just plays a bunch of things. I don't wanna let him know I have a red mana immediately. It's popper, I don't, don't think it's low. I don't I don't need to sweep on turn two. Land grant. Oh, elephant Guide, actually. Maybe the reason why I needed to have Breath Weapon up. Huh. It's, I'm not joking there. That's definitely the reason. Wow, but my hand is going off here. I can actually have Breath Weapon up. I didn't even think about it. Could I have done more? No, right? I don't think so. Oh, but yeah. I could have tapped this to... I think I'm just going to bright weapon in combat. Do I want to do an end step? Maybe I can take four. Play another thing, maybe. Burn injury emissary. That's another thing. Do, 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 do. Fun of rice. Hello. I'm doing very well. I have uh, definitely won this game. <laughs> Against the deck of the past. Thank you, thank you for the fifth month. Wait, don't you give plus two, plus two and fight with this? E vabbè, poi non mi sono fermato con le carte che devi fare, che cazzo. Oh, I keep on getting these big guys. No, I just jam them. Oh, magna questo. Vai, generous end. Alright, we have only... Bullet his opponent. What was the other loss that we had? It happened yesterday, but I don't remember it. What was the other loss? Oh, elves. Huh. Oh, huh. elves. It's okay, I guess. Yeah, you play call gates and you lose to this deck for sure. Yeah, this deck preys on the blue decks. I didn't face any in this league. Maybe I can face now one. It's definitely a better choice in paper. Where people just play blue decks all the time. Magical line people tend to play. Faster strategies. 
like, you know, like, this deck is actually a very popular magical line, because it's a fast strategy, but also, uh, Mono Red is a fast strategy, which, you know, isn't amazing. Alright, hands great. Are there any Breath of God effects in Popper? Yeah. I mean, they're damage-based, but there are. Breath Weapon is definitely the most popular one. Oh no, another Else deck. Else has a card that my deck can't beat, which is uh, Timber... I mean, I can't, I can't kill it. But if it's online, Timber Watch Else, there it is. <laughs> it's just unbeatable. Yeah. My, my hand this game has been, it's really good, this hand is really good, but my opponent just does so many more unfair things, so uh, this is this is the best card <laughs> I could have had here. I feel like I keep on getting, uh, you know, paired against these, uh, like, combo decks, the whole league, and it's just tough for this deck. But again, like this non-combo deck, very strong deck. Yeah, this deck is super cheap in paper, right? What's the most expensive card? Breath Weapon? You don't have a uh, Thermocrest like the Ponza deck used to do. It's all new cards. I guess Utopia, uh, Utopia Sprawl? I guess they were printed, so it's not that expensive. Alright, so now I have a ton of mana. ton of mana I have. Alright, what did you do with Winding, with Winding Way? Oh wow, you braked hard. You got... Rift Sour? You got Rift Sour. Weird. Allora, I got three. Untap. Cinque. So, sei, sette, otto, nove. So, I can actually go Avenging Hunter. Aspetta, 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 aspetta. So, I don't want to suck the spawn to play this, because I actually want to suck the spawn to pump this. So, how can I double spell here? Let me just go Annoid Altazor and see what happens. That weapon, I only have one left in the deck. I think I should think that much about it. Just go Avenging Hunter and Chrysalis. Rip spawns. Welcome back spawns. Another card that can be deadly if they dry it is Queer Ranger. Sour, their hand is two cards. They're attacking me with these guys. Okay. So they can give their thing plus four, plus four. I don't want to steal my niche, that's what I want to do. All right. I think I want to do this. Trading with the elf. And, uh, yeah, so this is where I keep the initiative. No! I have six, I should have sucked the spawn to pump the chrysalis. Oh, shit! My thing is an elf, too! That's a big punt. That's a big punt. I missed that. Yesterday I didn't miss it, this morning I missed it. Rip. Alright, I'll scry. I don't want to draw lands. Alright, I don't want to draw this thing. This thing is so bad in the normal matchups. Alright, let's start with Annoid Altazor. Into Boarding Party. Man, if I didn't punt that one. Into Arbor Elf. 
Okay. Okay. Can go land. I can go rumble. Got a chrysalis, second breath weapon gone. Rip. Then attack with these guys. Maybe nine damage. One is on eleven. Then I have blue mana, which can be deadly. Well wisher, okay. This is gonna be also hard to race. Go for the arena and force something to attack. Which means that they just have to like tap this. Before, uh, before combat to pump something. Okay, so I reach unlimited amount of mana, but I don't think I can attack. I don't think I have a combat here. Split my shit and pass. Yeah, the well wisher will be hard to beat. I don't think I have a good combat here, so I just pass. Now this thing has to attack, so what that means is just that they tap it first. Must ban though, alright, it does nothing. Oh, you don't even wanna Oh you have no creatures in the graveyard, sure. The well we sure can just top and gain eight. Yeah, I mean usually like you can like draw okay, so what did they do? They pumped a finger elf to a nine nine. Yeah. Yeah, so I can oh wow, I don't even attack. Eh, va bene. Uh well I guess I can draw gain three with the food. Might as well. All right, now, what do we do with Undercity? Draw or make a 4-1 Menace? I think I draw. Mm. So I'll finish the dungeon here. Like a top 10. What do I find is, uh, and if these like very large cards. Allora, this thing is trample. So I can get this thing. Is that, is it nine seven X proof? I do want to attack here. So my opponent creatures are actually quite small. Cause they don't have, um... well I guess I could have gone boarding party maybe. I think this thing attacks better overall though. Yeah, there's pirates. Yeah, the the red decks plays pirates. Of course, if you don't want to, if you don't want to have the breath weapons, you can play the fiery cannonade. It's cheaper. Or if you play mono red, they have they have pirates. Whereas dragons, it's only like this, and very few other cards are dragon. When it has well wisher, so they're they're gaining. Okay, uh, if I sack this, I deal six damage. I think it's a good deal. Zeratul. 
Welcome, welcome to the stream. What you doing there? What you doing, Tap2? Oh, Vines of Basswood, wow. All right. 24 months, that makes it two year. Thank you. What is a three life? I have Oleophant, which represents a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. I really mean a lot. Because it has Trample and gives another thing Trample. Rough a turn. Vahai. A part's a party. Let's go. Let's board. Let's board to the party. Seems not bad. It pumps my Chrysalis. And I'm sending in the team, even the Arbor Elves. Was sending the Arbor Elves? I think I can't really make a mistake if I send the Arbor Elves, honestly. Yeah. I'm pumping this one. It's a bigger thing that doesn't have trample. And I don't know, opponent, good luck counting. So they can tap this thing and gain how much? I can, they can tap this thing and gain not at 8, so they go to 11. But, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm dealing a lot of damage here. I, I like threats that have trample. Like, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to count, but I doubt that you would have survived there. Alright, so we beat Elves game 1, which does not seem like an easy feat. We definitely got lucky that they didn't draw well. Or Proposer, you're always out. You're like a guaranteed side out. These two cards have been bad this league. I don't know. I mean, maybe they are needed. But it definitely felt like when I drew it, I drew a mulligan. Like, it, does, it really does not belong to the, the drinker at all. It's like a filler. So if you draw it, you're never happy. <laughs> I guess magic decks are made of these cards too, but it's kind of it's kind of just very easy to hide out. By the way, I'm two two. Round four was easy. That I forgot about it. It has a functional hand, except it doesn't have fairy cannonade. I'm mulligan to 5 easily. Uh, unfortunately, I'm mulligan to 4. And yet, I never drew... <laughs> I never drew the card. Never drew the card. Let's do this. I opened, uh, what? 30, 35 cards? Never drew one? It's okay. Or Fiery Cannonade. Or even the um, Cast into Fire would be good. Here if I draw it. Wish your early game is bad. Like, I don't care if I play against life early game. Man, my draws are poor. Like, drawing these two cards in early game is not good. Put a Fallen Timber Watch Elves. Okay, now this is a good one. I can go red. Mana. Mana Chrysalis. That, that, the Utopia Sprawl is very good draw there. Okay, they found well, the third land for Timber Watch, unfortunately. Well, never mind, F4. Sorry, I must have missed it. Malevolent Rumble. Mm. So I have 4, 5, 6, 7. I think I'm gonna go for the Annoyed Altizor. Maybe not. 4, 5, 6, 7. It's an either Annoyed Altizor or Boarding Party. The party, I guess, can't attack now. Yeah. I can also go rumble first. I think I can do a rumble later. 
Hmm. Well, if I do a rumble now, I do more damage with the chrysalis. So maybe I should do a rumble now. Right? Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I have three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I just do. Nah, I just do Altizor. Talks bigger with the Chrysalis. A. Very strong here. Before the Timber Watch Elf is online, I can kill two creatures. But then gain a bunch of life with Queer Ranger plus Well Wisher. Sure, life is fake in early game. Early game left total don't matter. And the the thing I was very happy to kill is Queer Ranger for sure. I mean obviously Well Wisher too, but Ooh, another one. Ah, now and now it's making it's making it's making my life much harder because now the the queer ranger is so good. All right, let's hope for a breath weapon. And my problem here is that Timber Watch Elf can give a thing plus eight now because I have queer ranger. Yeah, I think the game is just over at this point. Pettis, did you uh, check the podcast that we made? We made a podcast fully on Pioneer. It didn't do well because, you know, not that many people are interested in Pioneer. But if you are one of these few people, definitely check it out. Just gonna scoop. Like, I just can't beat these things. It's just over. What do I think of Pioneer as a, as a format? I think it's a fine lower power level format. I, I, don't, I don't mind it. Yeah, I think it's fine for competitive magic. Yeah. It doesn't do well for content, though, and I'm mostly a content creator. So anytime I do Pioneer content, it, it's always, like, guaranteed a worst performing video. So, I think like if you're a competitive magic player, it's interesting format, rotates a lot, which is very fun for me when a format rotates, but, you know, unfortunately that's not what people want to see, so I just stick to other things. All right, game three. I'm not gonna mulligan two four this time. I have a functional hand, and they just top the, the best card in my deck, so it makes it even better. I'm gonna go Mountain Rumble because if I find uh, you took a Sprawl or yeah or Wild Growth, I would have kept it. I would have cast it. So I'm gonna go. You took a Sprawl. I'll uh, untap this forest and place this thing here, naming red. You don't have a secret restoration for Belcher. Yeah, you can play anything else. Like I'm, I'm sure you don't need to play that card. All right, I think I'm gonna wait until they play the Timber Watch. Cause again, I don't care if they gain life. I think I've said enough time at this point that I don't care if they gain life. I'll go Chrysalis here. The last interest in Pioneer once the US RC ended. But that's how magic, uh, that's how magic, uh, th sorry, that's how competitive magic is. You prepare for a, fo for a tournament and then you lose interest once that format ends. Like that's not, I think that's not bad necessarily. You know what I mean? Like I test a lot for draft for a sealed tournament and then that sealed tournament ends. I don't touch that format anymore after that. 
So competitive magic is that. You, you test a lot for a PTQ, and then that season ends, you don't play that format anymore until the next one. So, you know, whereas you have the non-rotating format like Modern, Pauper, Legacy, and those are just everlasting. So they're usually the more interesting ones. Allora, I definitely want to go Breath Weapon this turn. But, but I have all these things first to handle, so... What I'm going to do is, I'll play a right thing Chrysalis. Hmm. I can sacrifice at least one of this. Hmm. Then I use uh, red and green. I'll spend, because I wanted to pump. Not, do I need the mana more? I think I actually maybe need the mana more here. So I just suck, suck, suck. Play Breath Weapon. Yeah, I think that's better. Suck, suck, suck. Play Breath Weapon. Hope it goes. Of course, they have like cyber cards that can make it not go. Let's see. Oh, hello? Oh, shit. In 12, it's two per creature. Yeah. I mean, I think it is what it is at the end of the day. It's a very bad matchup, but we got paired against it twice, plus two of the other thing. I think my draw, my draw, I just get, I just get a dude. I think I'm just getting a dude here rather than uh, just getting like these mana dorks. But yeah, I think it is exactly this. Like this deck is like very polarized matchup, so you just, yeah. Easy wins and easy easy losses. Although the deck is like very functioning. Like in the past, this deck used to just be like a very much luck deck. They just didn't function a lot of the games. Now, thanks to all this like Malevolent Rumble, Generous Ent, uh, you have just a lot of more functional draws. Also like Wraithing Chrysalis just bridges the gap very well between one and seven. Look, I'm just gonna take this because I have like no monarchy. If they want to pump, that's okay to me. That means that if I top deck a another breath weapon, things can be a little bit better. All right, let's go. Ding ding. Four, five, six. Seven, I can go Altizor. Let's see what we find. Is there a breath weapon in there? There is. Very nice. So we can cast ability on the stack. I have to sacrifice this. Yeah. Point can do a lot of like pumping. Yeah, so they pump their their two things. Eh. Yeah, I mean now, now I'm in a good shape. All of a sudden, I think I should attack for twelve there. Their left foot are actually gonna go rapidly down here. Hmm. A little punish for getting this over land. Now I can't play boarding party. But it's okay. So how much they can pump for? They can pump for four. Hmm. 
right? You can pump for four, pump for two, and tap, pump for two. Yeah. I think I'm actually not going to play Arbor Elf here. So Arbor Elf pumps the um, Timber Watch. Okay, now they can pump for six. It's okay. No blocks. Hmm. Let's go boarding party. Come on, let's cascade another. Sorry. I guess I couldn't go boarding party last turn then. Anyway, let's see what I cascade. Another, another fire cannonade. Experiment Hydra. Yeah, this is unfortunately the brick. There's like one brick. It's okay. It's like finding it took us for all at the end of the day. Alright, now this can pump for three. So here I can attack with all, uh, and that's gonna be lethal. Yeah, 10, 18. So if I attack with all is lethal, my opponent has to like, I think it's a good attack. My opponent has to like bounce a land to pump the Priest of Titania for three to trade. And then they untap with two things, no lands. Yeah, I think it's a good attack. Yeah, I actually managed to win this game. Obviously I got super lucky to find Breath Weapon with that. Uh, Annoyed Altizor, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think like, you know, winning winning this matchup is not easy at all. Okay. Okay. What's happening now? Mm-hmm. I block one. Oh, I die. I die. I didn't see the line where it would survive. Ah, oh, well played opponent. If I, one sec, let me go back to this game. What was my play needed to be? I don't attack with Chrysalis, but I just don't block. But I can block block. Yeah. I didn't see the line where it would survive a one. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Well, it was a good game. Uh, I didn't give the best to this deck because I think we up I mean, I've said a lot of times at this point, but I got paired against bad matchup. But I think overall it's a strong deck. I prefer this version to the land destruction ones. And I don't like casting two fires. Although I guess it saved me the game where I killed two things. Or I lost that game anyway. But yeah, maybe you can just play more uh, Natural Observance. And maybe you just don't play this too. Wait, did I not sideboard in this? But yeah, whatever. Just play like more fire cannonade effects. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time.